It's more pro mod action. Bracket number two, Trigger King, the 2024 Summer Series. We've been working with a tricky surface. If you joined us for bracket one of action, the track very marbly and very ridged. And so the trucks are having a hard time getting the power down as we take a look at qualifying results for event number two, bracket number two, Gravedigger, Josh Rhodes, 1144, irreparable damage, 1166, and underpowered. Lead your top three in this 32 truck bracket. Yeah. Number one, Josh Rhodes, Gravedigger, facing off against number 32, Gravedigger, Jake Parr. It's a Gravedigger, Gravedigger matchup in our first pair. The number one qualifier is going to cruise around the track and take that victory. Next, it's Avenger, Chris Lane, and Careless Whisper, Mike Bufka. Bufka off to a big lead. That truck could be really planted. Full custom tubing, so it probably weighs a little bit more than most of the other trucks out there, but probably helps it stay a little more planted, and he wins this round one matchup. Number eight, Gunslinger, and 25, Boogie Van, Fred Kors, and Michael Spurlock. Spurlock off to a lead with the Gunslinger truck. I believe that is a TLR LMT. Yes, indeed, and the Gunslinger wins. It's got the long wheelbase on it, a lot of aftermarket accessories as well, but looking good out there as we move on to NWO, Chris Hackinson and Stomper, Chris Lane. Oh! Wow, Stomper had it, but out of shape on the final straightaway heading to the finish line. Who got it? That became a very close race. Let's take a look at the TKRC replay. Charging to the final straightaway. Stomper gets a good leap, but he's out of shape, trying to put the power down. But Pogo Wing and off to the far side. There you see it at the line. It wasn't pretty. NWO with the victory. Firestone Bigfoot, Bob C. Chandler, the number four qualifier. He won, no, he was in the finals last time out. He was the number one qualifier, losing to number three, Max D. This time out, number four qualifier, facing off against the Number 29 qualifier, USA 1, Keith Vogt. Chandler, you saw him get a little squirrely there in between the obstacles on the final straightaway, trying to put the power down. Just so tricky. It's a repetitive theme, but so tricky out there. Rotten Apple and Hell yeah. Welker versus Iron Aaron James. Hellion off to the lead. Wow, soaring into that first corner a little wide, allowing Welker to make up ground, charging the final straightaway. Oh, and Welker with trouble between the obstacles as well, giving the win to Hellion as he flies to the finish line. Equalizer, the number 28 qualifier, Chris Parrish, and number five, crash test dummy, Keith Vogt. Incredible qualifying result for a vote. Can he carry the momentum? Oh no, he's out of shape. Vote right there. First to the line for vote, but by penalty because vote missed the obstacle uh, coming around the corner with his front axles, with his front two tires. That gives the win to Parrish. Wow, Goblin with a big leap off the starting line, but again, trouble getting the power down as Atomic Orange takes the lead back. It's back and forth. Goblin recovers for the victory. Irreparable damage, the number two qualifier. Once again, Isaac Ankrum 
looking very strong in qualifying in this Pro Mod event number three, number two, sorry, event number two of the Trigger King Summer Series, taking the win in round number one. Zeus, Aaron James, and Purple Haze, Andy Salerno, 15-18 matchup. Two contenders a little bit further down in the seeding order. Either of these guys can ring your bell, and it looks like right here, Purple Haze gets to ring a bell as he takes the victory. Red Rocket and Wild Hair. with the BMRC fighter chassis in the far lane. New for 2024 for him, and he's been looking very solid with that, taking a victory. Snakebite, Bob C. Chandler. Number seven and number 26, Atomic Orange, Chris Blank. Blank first to the corner, but wide. Chandler charging down the back straightaway, holding the lead. Oh! Stuffs it into the turn marker at the finish line, but gets across the finish line for the win. Underpowered, Andy Salerno and Mad Dog Troy Haas. Oh, Haas in trouble in the near lane, missing one of the obstacles. Salerno not looking underpowered at all as he takes the win moving into round number two. Mr. Holmes Power, number 14 and number 19, Sudden Impact. Holmes Power off to a big lead. Oh, a great bounce into the corner. Oh, but Holmes Power missed the entry to the second corner. Sudden Impact closes the gap and Puts down Mr. Holmes Power. Jeremy Mark Torres, he's right back up on the line after racing Sudden Impact, facing off against the Rotten Apple TLR. TLR in trouble, washing out in the first corner. A big charge for Rotten Apple, hammered down. Just a wing and a prayer. Taking a look at the TK replay, I think think Welker just pulled a rabbit out of the hat. Incredible. Taurus out of shape trying to recover. Welker hammered down, gets the power down and the win. Number 11, Indominus versus number 22, Max D. Oh, contact. Looks like Indominus came into the lane of Max D just a little bit. They were both heading towards the center line, but it looks like Indominus crossed over first. That'll be impediment, and by disqualification, Max D wins that race. Round number two of action, number one, Josh Rhodes in Gravedigger, and Careless Whisper, Mike Bufka, the number 17 qualifier. Gears sounding a little crunchy in the near lane. Oh, both trucks with all kinds of trouble. That was messy. Gravedigger gets the win. It wasn't pretty, but nobody's asking if it was a pretty win. They just want to know if you did. Gunslinger and NWO. Both trucks out of shape. Oh, NWO off the obstacle. Gunslinger slowing it down just to make sure he gets across the finish line cleanly, moving into round three. Firestone Bigfoot and Iron Aaron Janes, Hellion on the line. A 4-13 matchup. Oh, Chandler in trouble. Now Janes in trouble. Everybody with trouble. But Jane's up and over. All Chandler has to do is complete the run cleanly and he'll move to the next round.
Equalizer, number 28. And number 21, Goblin, Chris Hackinson. Goblin with a little bit of a jump. Equalizer in trouble. Not able to get the power down on the front straightaway. Charging back though, it's close. Oh, I think Goblin, Goblin got it. Going straight down the final straightaway. That seems to be a repetitive theme today. Who can go straight down the final straightaway? Because you're closing a lot of gap if you can get that power down in a straight line. Irreparable damage out in the lead over Andy Salerno. A little bit of a rough hit, a little bit of body damage, nearly a flesh wound, but irreparable damage moves on as we move on to Red Rocket and Snakebite. Ankrum back-to-back -back races. If he wins this race, he'll face himself in the next round, his two trucks. Oh, but right now he's in trouble. Chandler's in trouble. Chandler making it to the line first. Wow, it is not pretty racing out there. I hope it is clear to the viewer at home how tricky this surface is. This is wild. It is a concrete ridged surface, it seems. It is hard packed and difficult to get down this track. Andy Salerno in underpower fights his way to the finish line for the win. And our final pair in round number two. Rotten Apple TLR and Max D, Josh Rhodes. The Max D Ogre chassis truck, a closer, a cleaner line to the first corner. That gave him the lead and he carried it to the finish line. But just to keep the theme going, it got ugly after the finish line. Round three, the number one qualifier back up on the line. Rhodes and the Grave Digger. Gunslinger, Michael Spurlock in the number eight qualifier. Spurlock's been good today with that TLR Losi. Looking good here. Looking to take down the top qualifier. Wow. It was tight on that final straightaway, but laying the power down, Spurlock with Gunslinger takes the win, putting down our number one qualifier. Well, we have another upset. Number four, Firestone Bigfoot versus number 21, Goblin. It was pretty close, and Bigfoot, Bob C. Chandler opened up the lead on the final straightaway moving into the next round. Chandler right back up on the line with a snake bite now facing off against irreparable damage. Isaac Ankrum. Both trucks close to the center line down the front straightaway. Chandler with the lead. Oh! Wow! Did you see that? Oh! But by Penalty, irreparable damage, loses that race. Snakebite takes the win. Max D, choice over, underpowered our final pair in round number three. Rhodes in trouble in the near lane, but charging back, Salerno, can he hold it? Oh no, oh, and it looks like Salerno crosses the center line, hitting Max D. The number 22 qualifier moves on. Semi-final action. The final four. Gunslinger and Firestone Bigfoot. Spurlock, we've said it before, looking good on this track. In trouble at this point against Firestone Bigfoot, but charging back. Oh, Chandler. Definitely had the lead, but way off to the side. Once again, did Gunslinger catch him on that final straightaway in the charge to the finish line? Taking a look at the TK replay. There you see it. If you're not straight, 
across the final straightaway, it's going to cost you. And right there, you saw it. Gunslinger takes the win and moves into the finals. Michael Spurlock charging hard today. Our other pair, Chandler, back on the line. Did he learn anything in the last race? Snakebite facing off against Max Dean, the number 22 qualifier. Rhodes charging through the field as a low seed, but big trouble right there off the obstacle. Chandler looking pretty smooth and takes it cleanly to the finish line, setting up our finals. In the finals, that'll pit Snakebite Bob C. Chandler, the number seven qualifier, and the number eight qualifier, gunslinger Michael Spurlock. Spurlock's already taken down one Chandler truck. Can he do it in the finals? Chandler off to the lead. Oh! Again, that got really close as Chandler got out of shape towards the finish line. Did Spurlock do it again, flying by Chandler? We're gonna find out right here. Oh, wow, that's close. Wow. That is too hard to tell with our review frame rate. We're going to run it again, ladies and gentlemen. A re-race of the finals. Off to a similar start. Chandler charges off the starting line. Spurlock trying to charge back. Chandler in trouble. Gunslinger Michael Spurlock with the win. Incredible performance from the newcomer. Getting it done in bracket two. Gunslinger. as Gunslinger is cocked, locked, and ready to rock, taking bracket number two. That sets up a tiebreaker race for the overall event championship. Bob C. Chandler, Firestone Bigfoot, and Max D. Josh Rhodes. The winner takes the trophy. Overall, based on cumulative points through both racing brackets in the Pro Mod class, Max D upset upside down in the far lane, and Chandler with the Firestone Bigfoot takes another Pro Mod trophy home and sits atop our points lead in the Pro Mod class. But Gunslinger vaulting into second place. Avenger Chris Lane looking very good in the third spot. It'll be interesting to see how the points chase develops through the remainder of the season. We appreciate you joining us. Thank you to all of our sponsors that make it happen. We appreciate you joining us and we'll catch you next time.